Hi. First of all, if you have watched my films, you know that I don't dress up for them. This is just my ordinary walking around the house garbage. And uh, it's shower day, but I'm lazy, so I haven't showered. Anyways, I'd like to think it's the content instead of the person. Well, maybe it's the third thing. <laughs> Anyways, today I have a project and a mini project. Uh, by now, many, ha many of you have seen that light that I built out of the, uh, the holding case for the four foot fluorescent LED replacement, or the LED replacement light for a four foot fluorescent light. And uh, these are really cool and I wanted to do something with them and I'm going to. Much more in depth than the last video about the same thing. Now I got some 24 volt strip lights from one of my favorite places, Design 21. Now, of course, if you're in Edmonton, look up Design 21. Uh, but the, uh, the sign on their shop just says LED in big letters, which is great. So anyways, and it's a great place, awesome people. But anyways, I have all these strip lights, 24 volt, and I wanted to make them into something interesting. And uh, I'm going to show you the process. The things you'll need are, well, strip lights, <laughs> in this case 24 volt, uh, some zip ties, one of those plastic tubes that, you know, my uh, LED four foot bulb came in, or any plastic tube that you have, they're pretty cool and pretty easy to find if you know where to find them. If you don't, they're not easy to find. Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is take apart an adapter so I can test each of these, bul these uh, bulbs see what color they are and I have made this because I had like I kept on forgetting what color the packages were because I was too lazy to mark them and there were only a few packages and the rest were loose so anyway I put together some Pringles cans because I'm a pig <laughs> and even though I don't like Pringles Pringles were very cheap at work one day so I bought a bunch so I have these empty Pringles cans I'm going to test these with what will be their power supply, put them into each one, write on them what color they are, that way I will know and I won't forget. Anyways, oh yes, how to get a hold of this stuff? Well, uh, go to LED places and, you know, just buy the stuff. Now, if you have a genuine interest in something, almost anything, but it's a true interest and you know about it, then a lot of places will say, hey, we'll, we'll help you out, we'll, you know, give you a discount, we'll, uh, you know, give you some of our old stock that we can't sell. Most places, if, if you truly have an interest, are great like that. Some places aren't. Um, but now, if you don't have an interest in something, people can always tell when you're faking to get stuff. So don't even try. Uh, and if not, just you know, buy some, buy some light strips or some, or some light parts and uh, have fun because they're not very expensive. Anyways, uh, let's get uh, started doing some stuff.
electricity, be very, very careful. If you don't know what you're doing, you know, do something else. It's probably, probably not your interest anyway. Me, I'm terrified of electricity, uh, especially 24 volts. This adapter is only 15, but still, it scares me. So treat all electricity with respect. Wow, I'm making part two, uh, or the second segment, as boring as part one. <laughs> okay. Now, first thing. <clears throat> this is very obvious, but I have to say it. When you are cutting the end off of a wire or an, an adapter, make sure that it is not plugged in. You'd be surprised. I was uh, helping install furnaces over the winter one year for a part-time job and this old guy bought uh, refrigerators actually, what am I talking about, refrigerators. Anyways, he bought one, put it upstairs and the only plug-in was downstairs. So he drilled a hole, cut the end off of a cord and he pushed it up th through the base, through the floor by the fridge and uh, he said, well, hook it up. And just thinking that, you know, sometimes people do things as foolish as I do, um, I, I sent someone down to check and make sure that the old guy had unplugged the plug. And sure enough, he put the wires through, plugged the plug back in, and uh, I wasn't about to uh, touch anything until I had a second person verify that that was unplugged. And it's a good thing, because uh, when I'm really scared, I tend to poop myself, and that would not have been good for the job. Anyways, I had planned on, ah, here's my wire stripper. I had planned on working as I talked, but, uh, well, you know me. Just strip these things. Now these LED lights are polarity sensitive. So positive and negative, they do make a difference on these lights. And these wires are not marked. So now, very carefully, very carefully. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm, you see, you have to find out which side is positive, which side is negative. I know it's 15 volts, it won't harm me, but still, I do not want to touch it. Okay, and we have also learned that this is a yellow, well, whitish yellow. I'm going to put it in the thing very carefully. You wouldn't believe how much I'm sweating because of that electricity. It scares the poop out of me. Okay, this one's right. Actually, what you could do is decide which color you want in your strip, and then as soon as you find out the polarity, hook them up, and then use the one bulb to check the other ones. So you don't have to worry about shocking yourself. Unfortunately, since I want these as plant lights and Christmas lights, I don't really want the white light, so. Once again, this is a 15 volt um, adapter, so it doesn't have to be exactly 24 volts. Well, it probably does, but I don't know. 